A video launch from Yamaha Motor Industries Indonesia showcases the new 2021 Yamaha Aerox 155 connected, which comes with an all-new engine. Known as the NVX 155 in Malaysia and priced at RM10,088 for the previous generation, the Indonesia market Aerox 155 connected receives some upgrades and is sold in two versions, with ABS and without. Coming with a liquid-cooled, SOHC, single-cylinder engine with variable valve actuation, VVA, displacing 155 cubic centimeters, the Aerox 155 gets 15.15 HP at 8,00 RPM and 13.9 nanometers at 6,500 RPM versus the 14.8 HP at 8,000 RPM and 14.4 nanometers of torque at 6,000 RPM of the previous generation NVX 155. Fed by EFI, transmission is automatic and uses a V-belt from the gearbox to the rear wheel. Fuel is carried in a bigger 5.5 liter tank, 4.6 liters in the previous year's model, and weight is now 125 kilograms, compared to the 118 kilograms of the 2019 NVX 155 with the seat placing the rider 790 millimeters off the ground. Suspension is with conventional telescopic forks in front and twin remote reservoir shock absorbers in the back. Rolling on 110-80-14 and 140-70-14 rubber, front and rear respectively. Updates to the Aerox 155 connected include LED lighting for the head and tail lights with a new twin headlight assembly that features DRLs. Braking is still the same as before, a hydraulic disc brake on the 14-inch front wheel and a mechanical drum brake on the rear wheel, with single-channel ABS. Other riding comforts include keyless start, hazard lights, engine start stop and a 25 liter storage compartment under the seat, accessible by a remote locking button. Standard fitment is Yamaha's Y-Connect app with hooks up with the rider's smartphone to monitor calls and messages, maintenance schedules, error codes, and last parking location, with the ability to share the information online with other Aerox 155 connected riders. The 2021 Yamaha Mio Aerox has been launched in Indonesia with a Philippine launch imminent. Yamaha has hit the sweet spot in the market with the Mio Aerox. A couple of years of massive success for the best-selling scooter has ushered in a new model bearing some notable updates. Consisting mostly of aesthetic and functional improvements, the new Mio Aerox is now better than ever and presents itself as an even stronger contender in the 150 cubic centimeters scooter market. Launched in the Indonesian market, the new Aerox features larger LED headlights, giving the scooter an all-new front fascia. On top of that, the front fairing has been redesigned to give a more premium and sporty look. Moving towards the rear of the scooter, a restyled LED tail light enhances the scooter's style even further. Aesthetics aside, the new Aerox sports a new fully digital instrument cluster. Bearing slightly larger dimensions than that of the outgoing model, the new instrument panel features a real-time fuel consumption gauge, as well as an integrated toggle switch on the left handlebar for navigating through the simple, yet comprehensive display. The new scooter now comes standard with hazard lights, toggled with a switch found on the right handlebar. The well-loved features of the Yamaha Mio Aerox such as the keyless start system, as well as the integrated power socket for charging your devices. As far as practical amenities are concerned, the Aerox remains plenty convenient with 25 liters of storage space under the seat. For the Indonesian market, the scooter comes with Yamaha's Y-Connect system which lets the rider connect his or her smartphone to the scooter's digital display to be able to remain connected regardless of where they go. It remains uncertain whether or not the locally released version of the Aerox will come with the Y-Connect system. Powering the 2021 Yamaha Mio Aerox is the same 155 cubic centimeters liquid-cooled, single-cylinder engine with Yamaha's variable valve actuation, VBA, technology. This is the same engine that is found in the majority of Yamaha's 150 cubic centimeters bikes in the market and has proven itself to be efficient, reliable, and adequately powerful.